The left area I want you to focus on, above the navel. Fingertips are behind the ears to support the head and neck. Knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna lift those shoulders up by contracting that upper abdominal. Here we go, so we're practicing lift, lower. Lift and lower. Shoulders coming all the way up and all the way back down. Use your abs to lift with. Do not jerk on the head or neck. Feel free to take a break at any time that you need. Take as many as you need, okay? Good job. You exhale, you inhale. That lower back is resting against the floor. You want to visualize as you roll up with the shoulders, that navel pressing right up against your spine. You exhale and inhale. Give me four, three, two. Now we're gonna slow it down, two, two count. Take it up for two, and down for two. All the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. You exhale, you inhale. Now up halfway, go up, halfway down. Back up, all the way down. Up, halfway down. Back up, all the way down. Use your core. Up and pulse. For three, two, one and lower. Three, two, one and lower. Three, two, one and lower. Three, Two, one and lower, two, two. Take it up two, and down, now halfway. Pulse. Two, two. Full range, all the way up, all the way down, halfway. Pulse. Two, two. Four, halfway. Lots of focus. Pulse. Two, two. Halfway. Pulse. Okay, now just come up halfway and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, you're gonna pulse up from here. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and freeze for eight. Four, three, two, pulse from here. Eight. And freeze. And pulse. Four, three, two. Let's go back to singles. All the way up, all the way down. Use your core to lift. Let's bring that left knee right above your hip. We're going to follow with our right. Okay, now we're going to work that lower abdominal from the navel down. Okay, so I want you to contract those abs nice and tight. That's going to make those little hips come off the floor with a little pelvic tilt. Okay, after four more here. Three, two. Now bring it all the way down. Okay, go to pelvic tilt and release. We're contracting that lower abdominal to get that little pelvic tilt. You're squeezing real tight. You're pulling that navel in towards your spine. And it's very small, very controlled movement. I want you to really focus on using the lower core and keep that back relaxed, okay? Do not swing the legs. It's all core. Exhale, inhale. Good. 
We're going to do eight more of these. Then we'll put the upper and lower together. Keep going. Four more. Come on. Squeeze tight. Three. Two. Fingertips behind the ears. Full body crunch. In and out. Again, small control movement. Four. Bring those shoulders all the way back down. Six. Seven. We got eight more. Do what you can. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. You got this. Four. You got to breathe. Three. Two. And one. Good job. Come down. Grab behind your knees. Pull the knees into your chest. A little tight ball here. Move your head from right to left. Okay. And bring one foot to the floor, one with the other. Lengthen your legs. Bring your hands underneath your bottom. All right. Unlike you, we're going to lift legs and shoulders off the floor. We're going to do a vertical scissor into an open and closed leg. All right. So when I say lift, both upper and lower body comes off the floor. If you need to bring your shoulders down occasionally, that's fine. All right, so take a deep breath. Ex exhale, continue to breathe. Lift up. Now we're gonna start out with that scissor, right and left, here we go. So vertical scissor, two, three. You're looking straight up to the ceiling. Five, six, seven, bring your feet together. Now you're gonna open and close the legs. Two more. Let's go back to that scissor, right. Left, right, left. Five, six, seven. Feet come together. Now you're going to hold it and close. Two more. Back to your scissor. Take it right, left, right, left. Five, six, seven. Feet together. Now hold it and close. Two more. Okay, last time, scissor. Right, left, right, left. Five, six, seven, feet together. You open and close. Two more. Good job, bring it down. Okay, walk your feet in. Feet flat on the floor. Take them out wide. Just work that waistline a little bit. Fingertips behind the ears. Just going to start with the rolling up of the shoulders by using that upper core. Lift up and down. Full range now. Give me four more here. Then we'll start working on that waistline. This is your core. Okay, we're going to take that right shoulder to your left knee. All the way over, all the way back. I want that shoulder coming back to the floor each time. As you cross over, you deep with the shoulder. Four more. You twist from your torso, not the shoulders. Two more. Okay, lengthen that right arm. Pinky finger taps the outside of the knee. Bring that arm all the way back. Back of that arm touching the floor each time as you return. Five. Six. Seven. Now I want you to try and tap your calf a little bit further. Twist from that torso. Take the break when you need. Here's four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Now stay lifted at the knee and just tap. Tap that outside of the knee. Just tap. You're welcome. Keep tapping. You're lifted position. Do what you can. Five, six, seven, one more set of eight. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now just hold right there. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, lower down, lift up to the center, up to the center, now this is going back to the upper abdominal, you should feel that, give me four more, above the navel, what you're using to lift with, two more, okay, now your left shoulder to the right knee, work on that oblique area, around the waistline, that arm is coming all the way back to the floor each time. Four more. Three. Twist to the torso. We're going to lengthen that left arm. Pinky finger to the outside of the knee. Bringing the arm all the way back. Four more. Give me four. Three. Two. I'm going to try to do that calf. Let's go. Come on. Reach for it. Bring that arm all the way back. Three. Four. Three. Okay, stay lifted at the knee and just tap. Five, six, seven, eight is two. Two, three, four, come on. Five, six, seven, eight, and three. Five, six, seven. Now stay up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lower it down, lift up to the center. Upper abdominal. Breathing. Four more, let's go, give me four, three, two, and one, come all the way down, keep those feet wide, toes, or excuse me, not wide, but walk them in shoulder, bring one knee above the hip, follow with your other, legs and tabletop. Okay, now I'm going to have you lift your upper body, we're going to bicycle the legs, put the elbow to opposite knee, so lift the shoulders up, here we go, so take your way. Right, left. Five, six, seven, eight. Now freeze for eight, seven, six. Stay with it. Four, three, two. Single show. You got left. You got right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now freeze for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, back to singles, right and left. Breathing. Now slow it down a little bit. Here we go. You're going to go over to the right and hold. The long leg pulses two. Left, hold, long leg pulses two. Right, hold, pulse, pulse. Left, hold, pulse. Back to singles, right and left. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Come down, grab behind the knees, pull it into the chest, pull the head a little bit. Side to side, okay, release, bring your foot to the floor. Up and foot to the floor, extend your legs long. Finish up with the banana pipe. Okay, so your arms are down by your sides, palms facing in. On my cue, we're going to lift shoulders and feet off the floor. We're going to hold. If you need to come down before I tell you to, feel free to do that. You want to try to keep that lower back against the floor. If you need to bring your legs up higher to do that, please do, okay? So take a deep breath. Exhale. Now continue to breathe. And lift. Okay, so your head and neck is right in line with your spine. You're looking straight up to the ceiling. Okay, you want to try and keep your jaw and neck area as relaxed as you can. All right, your arms are by your sides, palms facing in. Your core is nice and tight. You want to visualize pressing that navel right up against your spine, holding it there. Lower back is resting against the floor with the legs higher or right where they're at. 